Today I'm going to show you how you can create an, a timesheet that you can enter hours for any selected week of the year. Now, the timesheet is a basic one, um, similar to uh, a video I recently produced. You select a cell and you click enter hours and then you put in, let's say this person worked uh, 9 till um, till 3.30 and then you enter hours and then you can close it down and there your hours are entered. Now th this is for week one and so um, let's go and let's select the next week and I'm basing this on starting on a Sunday and so I'm going to drop down the list arrow here and I'm going to select week two and then I'm going to push the selected week and then your week is displayed here. I have no hours entered in. Um, let's Let's put in something for Suzanne about here, and I'm going to go enter hours, and one more time I'm going to go uh, 8, and I'm going to go, um, ooh, let's only go to 5, and enter hours. Okay, so then you're merrily entering your hours along here, and you're thinking, oh, what did she work last week? So now what you can do is you can go back and you can drop this arrow down again and you can select the first week and you go select week and there you see the hours are that were entered in the first week so how i have done this is i have um, a sheet called calendar here and i have uh entered in the days from the first of january till the end of uh the end of December and then I've broken it into weeks and it's uh, the week numbers is or based on Sunday like I was saying I have a data sheet here that I have my week numbers and the drop down so uh, on sheet one I have a drop down and then it's displaying the week number beside it so if I select um, let's say the uh, 16th of February and then it's uh, week seven, obviously, and then you you get the, the dates for that week in. Now, um, the times on my user form are, so I have um, this range named as weeks, and then I have a range named as time or hours, I'm sorry. And those are the hours that are from the drop down in the lists. So let me show you what, how I've done this. So I've created a user form and basically um, each of these user forms, they're accessing uh, when you go down to row source, uh, source or yeah, row source, it says hours. So that's what I just showed to you on the data page. And so that's the same for both of them. Now let's right click to see the, um, to see the code. And um, it's basically entering start and finished. And then what it's doing is it's once it's done on the, the sheet that you're working on, it goes and searches. Um, so this is entering the value, the value on the first sheet. And now what it does is it go, goes to the calendar and it's um, then it's looking for the name from the if you're active look book or worksheet. And then it's looking for the date from the um, from the active worksheet and then it's entering the values in there and then I one more time activate the sheet but you new to this is uh, in the module one what I've done is I I have this called find date and I've uh, designed the week number as an integer range as as a range or RNG as a range place as an integer okay week number is worksheets range d2 and that's what's coming up with um it's a vlookup so it's a vlookup that's happening um on my uh weeks in the second call or c c2 is the um is the date and it's looking up in in my um in my range named uh weeks and it's looking in the second column and i want an exact match okay so then um with the week number decided there, 
it's activating the calendar and for each cell in the range from F2 to MY, so that's the whole year, look in the formulas and we're trying to find the week number. When you find that week number, then you're going to select that cell and then um, and then you are going to make a sheet one value equal to exactly to whatever cell you found in the calendar so that the values are copied both from the sheet one, which is where you're entering your values, and it's always left in your um, in your calendar. And then I just have a user form to uh, show user form, show my user form, and that's just to display the buttons. So, um, so for example, let's go again and let's go um, week one and select week. And there you have your hours. You can enter them at, for any week or you can review them at any time. I will, of course, include the code in my description of my video. Please subscribe.